Hey guys, um, I just did a really quick review on the Simply Street <laughs> Curling Brush. Um, and you can see what my hair looked like in that video. And then I just um, flat ironed it afterward because I didn't like the way that it looked with the brush. It was actually really bad. So I just did a really, really quick flat iron straightening. And I just want you guys to see the difference. Um, so if you can see the other video and then this one, you'll see that this is a flatter, straighter style. Um, it doesn't have like the poofiness that the other one had. Um, I'm kind of over flat irons. Like I just wanted to straighten my hair because when um, you're transitioning from curly to straight, a lot of your hair falls out. Because in my in my personal opinion, I don't like the way my hair looks if I don't wash it every day. Um, but you're not supposed to wash it every day. So now I'm getting used to using like leave-in conditioner and wetting it, but not letting it you know, not washing it every single day. But as you can see, um, it's like, I don't know, it's like starting to thin out. So I decided to straighten it because at least that way I don't have to touch it for a whole week. You know, so I straightened it. This is what it looks like with the flat iron. It is much straighter. It's definitely more of what I'm looking for. Tonight I'm just going to wrap it and then put curlers at the tips so that this will like curl and have some shape. But it's completely different. Um, I do like the fact that the straightening brush does straighten my hair quicker and then I can flat iron it, but I'm doing just as much work, so I might as well. I mean, I just feel like it's healthier to, to use this to straighten it versus just straight flat iron to the curly hair that's been brushed. Um, also, I didn't really have to brush it. I just actually um, took the dry hair, dry curly hair, and I brushed it with this to straighten it. And I believe that's healthier than actually taking a comb and brushing through the curly hair to get it straight for you to flat iron it. But I don't think this is worth 60 bucks to have that option. I'd rather take 20 bucks, go to the salon and get my hair done. If you watch any of my other videos, you'll see how amazing my hair looks when I go to Dominican salon. They put my hair in curlers, I set under the dryer, then I come out and then they straighten it with a, with a brush and a blow dryer. And it just looks so much it has more life, it's beautiful, it flows. You know, this is more of like a at home, don't have 20 bucks to go to the salon this week because I'm trying to save for my retirement because we forget about that in life and it's really important to start putting money away for retirement while you're young um, because then it'll grow and it'll compound. But I just wanted to make the quick follow up video to show you what the flat iron looks like versus what this brush looked like. And I still don't, I don't like either one. <laughs> to be honest with you, um, but I just don't think this was worth it. You know, there are some benefits. It does help um, straighten your hair quicker, but in the long run, I feel like putting this through your hair and then a flat iron is going to be more dangerous than just flat ironing it. Um, I always recommend going to the salon if you can afford it, but if you can't, which is why I did it, and also to, to review this because I just got this in the mail today. So I wanted to use it right away so I could return it if I didn't want it. Um, and I don't want it. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you guys a quick review. I wanted to show you guys the difference. This is what it looks like versus what the other look was. Um, right now I'm probably just going to put it up. Because I have nowhere to go. <laughs> and it's hot in my room. Um, other than that, I just want to say Happy New Year, everybody. And um, I hope you have a wonderful, amazing new year. May all of your um, resolutions come to fruition. And just keep following because a lot of great things are happening this year with Free My Vision, Let Me School You, Uplift the Homeless Project, and the Intimacy School. These are the four things that I'm focusing on this year. And just wait and see big things are coming. Love you guys. Happy New Year.